The Back Rooms. Watch your back. Object to number 91. The Recordless Player. Image Caption. The Inner Workings of the Player. The Recordless Player is a wooden wind-up phonograph, which was located on level 9 when discovered. No wax cylinder record is present within the device for playback. Footnote. The Meg is not in possession of any cylindrical records at this time. End footnote. The case is plastered with one prominent sticker. To my dear Casey. The contents of this label do not seem to be affected by desolation. Redirection to the tail, Backrooms Desolation Guide. The Backrooms. Watch your back. You there. Stay calm and read carefully. Hello, whoever you are. We are the Meg, a small group of wanderers working to help as many people as we can, and to get out of this place. We can't afford to spread this over more than two pages, so we'll be concise. You've probably been wandering in this building, cave, or dark suburb for a while. You might be wondering where you are, and how to get home. That's good. Hold on to that. Remember where you came from above all else. That being said, your questions need answers, so read onward. The Back Rooms. Nobody remembers who first called it that, but it's a fitting name. It's like we're in the back rooms of reality. The Back Rooms is a series of levels, infinite landscapes with a consistent look and theme. If you don't know what to look for, you could be trapped in one's monotony forever. We call travel into slash throughout the back rooms, quote unquote, no clipping, phasing through solid objects. You can no clip through visibly glitched areas in reality. Ever seen one wall in a room that's darker than the others? You can no clip by performing strange maneuvers against a wall. If you see somebody else, they might be able to teach you to do it. It's hard to describe in writing. You can noclip by entering an area that resembles another level, especially a particularly empty and desolate space. If you didn't notice anything had happened, this is probably how you got here. The back rooms has 11 levels. We call them by these numbers for simplicity. 0. Yellow Halls 1. Concrete Lots 2. Pipelined Halls 3. Electrical 4. Blue Office 5. Hotel 6. Darkness 7. The Ocean 8. Caves 9. Dark Suburbs and 10. The Fields We are based on level 4, as it is the safest. There are a few creatures, generally known as entities. The faceless humans are safe. Windows that look like they lead outside are traps, and that thing is not a dog. Desolation. This whole place feels off, doesn't it? It's all off, so desolate. That's the effect this place has on all things. It's called desolation, and the best way to sum it up is that it makes things strange and liminal. It makes things feel unusual, and generates a sense of unease. Three main categories of desolation that you should be aware of are Desolation in structures Avoid building fully closed structures. They can become sublevels, which can mean being trapped, locked away from any means to survive. Imagine you built a small shack from pieces of the wall on level zero. You stay the night in it, and you know you'll be safe. It's secure. You made sure of it. You wake up, and you try to leave your shack. And it never ends. Trapped. Desolation in Objects Objects also experience the effects of desolation. Your phone will malfunction. Your books will become unreadable. Your pictures will fade or become strange and unrecognizable. Bottles of water will become a substance called almond water. It smells of almonds and has an oily feeling in the mouth. It is safe to drink. More on it later. Desolation in Humans In humans, desolation manifests in two ways. Forgetting and transforming. Calm down and read extremely carefully. First, after a while, people tend to forget important things. 
Usually, the first things to go are things pertaining to the back rooms and things pertaining to where you came from. People go into a daze where they have no history and no goals, and they wander around aimlessly, almost as if they're a part of the back rooms itself. Then, people turn into an entity known as a faceling. You might have seen one around, as they're reasonably common. A human becomes a faceling after a long enough period of forgetting where they've come from, as the effects of desolation take hold and become irreversible. Their name comes from the smooth skin which covers where their face should be. Survival Drink almond water. As mentioned before, water will turn into almond water over time, but it can also be found all over the place. Avoid drinking it if it seems off in any way other than its oily texture. Find others. Facelings cannot help you, but people can. If you find somebody, make yourself useful and try to stick together. If you find us, the Meg, we will help you. Remind yourself who you are, where you are, and where you came from. Return to the original article, Object 81, The Recordless Player. Functionality Upon closing the case and winding up the player, the turntable will begin to play an audio recording, despite the lack of a record. The recording played consists of a human voice, usually recognizable to the one winding the player as a close acquaintance from back home. That being said, sometimes the audio is that of a feminine voice resembling that of a young child. If this occurs, the Meg recommends that the one winding the player should stop and try again at a later date. Logs The recordless player was discovered on the second floor of a level 9 house and promptly delivered back to the base on level 4 by the Venturer. Below are a series of recorded uses of the turntable for the purpose of determining the object's functionality and potential variants depending on the user. Bold text denotes the unidentified child voice speaking. Scrambled text was unintelligible. Subject Wendy Audio output Oh, unintelligible. Wait, I thought you went to the city last year. I'll come over here. I saved you a seat. Look, I think he's going to miss. No, er, is he seriously going to demonstrate again? Hey, unintelligible. Unintelligible. Do you regret picking this class now? I'm just here because it's easy. Like, I thought going to Haru for freshman advice would be a good idea. Damn, should have known my brother was screwing me over. Uh, you wanna play tic-tac-toe? Here, have a stick. Notes. Following the playback, Wendy admitted that the voice bore a striking resemblance to her childhood crush. Their paths diverged when Wendy made the decision to enroll in a different district for her high school education, ultimately leading to their separation. Subject Gabriel Leclerc Audio Output Oof, wasn't that a ride? Here, take it. I told my grandma you'd like something sweeter. She baked these homemade cookies for you. The ones in the bag are chocolate. It's no problem. Here, eat first. You must be starving. <laughs> I knew you'd be up to it. Maybe we should go somewhere after this, if your parents are okay with it and all. Hey, um, thanks for standing by me today. I honestly don't know how I'd drag myself through this if not for you back there. I guess I know it must be hard for you. I'm sorry for making you choose, but the last few months have been shit. And I honestly don't know if I would have wanted to keep going if not for you. I'm sorry about Jasper. I don't want to cause strife between you two or anything. Just thank you for bringing me here today. I appreciate it more than you could know. Notes. As the playback progressed, Mr. Leclerc stopped multiple times to make a conscious effort to steady his breathing. However, despite initial signs of discomfort, he concluded the session with a warm smile and requested further use of the turntable. Subject, Gabriel Leclerc. Audio output, You've made a bad decision. Notes, Mr. Leclerc flinches away from the object. 
he appears visibly distressed and is handed off to Dr. Park. Footnote, who is not a psychiatrist, but we make do with what we have. End footnote. Testing was suspended for three days. Subject, Gabriel Leclerc. Audio output. Do you remember wonderful times? Where did they go? I love you. I miss you so dearly, so true. Even though I've killed you, I've only loved you. Please forgive me, unintelligible. Please let me see your smile. A notes. Mr. Leclerc refused to engage in further interactions with the object. Subject. Dr. Park. Audio output. You always seem to dream about unintelligible, but you always rationalize it away. Notes. Dr. Park expressed irritation at the object's quote-unquote stubbornness. The doctor insisted on a subsequent test. Subject. Dr. Park. Audio output. That could have been close. Darn, old man. You've had this a long time coming. Well, she recovered. I'll tell you. You could go meet her up at the entrance right now. Her parents are endlessly thankful. My god, what kind of miracle did you pull this time? Notes. After several hours, the doctor divulged that the dialogue mirrored a conversation that occurred on the 23rd of December, near the entrance of St. Jude's Children's Hospital. However, the content of the playback deviates drastically from the actual occurrence. Subject, Adam Mason. Audio Output. Dear Diary, Today I wasted my time. Everything was believable. Everything made sense. I dreamed she was by my side again. Notes, Mr. Mason is suggested to make another attempt. Subject, Adam Mason. Audio output. There's nothing here anymore. There's really nothing. But you won't believe me. Notes, Mr. Mason is urged to continue trying. Subject, Adam Mason. Audio output. Dad, Dad, are you home yet? Mom's coming back for the weekend with a Christmas tree. You've got to take a look at this. Shh, let it be a surprise. I can't wait, I can't wait. This is going to be totally amazing. All right, Dad, I've got to go now, but get back here as soon as you can. Merry Christmas. I love you. Notes. Adam Mason's daughter is dead. Subject. Dr. Park. Audio output. Where are your old friends, Doctor? Poor little Judy. Couldn't you see that she was sick? You were late, Doctor. What a shame. Testing is concluded. Update. Sometime after the conclusion of the tests, the object spontaneously vanished from the Meg base. Footnote. Presumably no clipped during a period when it was not under observation. End footnote. Its current whereabouts are unknown.